Okay, I'm going to start a new recording that uses different type, use the loop as a do while. So we come into the structures, we do the loop exactly the same as we did the last program, but we've got the infinity symbol here. We're going to change it to the ultrasonic sensor. Distance in centimeters, and we've got a choice here. I can choose between all these different things, but less than is what we want to do, so it's number four, but I'm changing this down to 20 centimeters. So what this is pretty much saying is that when it's finished, whatever's in here and there's nothing in there yet, check with the ultrasonic sensor. Is the ultrasonic sensor looking at anything less than 20 centimeters? Okay. If it's looking at anything less than 20 centimeters, then it will jump out. If it's not, it will keep on going. So what are we going to put in there? Quite simply, we're just going to put the motor in here, and all we're going to do is turn it on. So it's going to come in here, say so nothing close, turn it on, go back, turn it on. So it just keeps turning it on, so it's nice and smooth move. If it now sees something, what I'd like it to do is to turn the motor off. And so I know it's worked. I'm going to also add a sound in there as well. Add that sound. I'm going to say play a tone. You can play any tone I want. I'm going to choose 300. Okay, because it's not too high pitched, it's not horrible. And I'm just going to 0.5 of a second. So what I have now is open up the program, turn the motor on. Now with this motor, actually what I want to do is a very tight corner like that. At a speed of 50 is a bit fast. So I'm going to slow that down to about 20. So turn the motor on, turning slowly. Is there something close to me? If there's not, go back, turn the motor on, motor's already on, nothing changes. If there is something close to me, I want you to stop the motor and then play a tone. So let's see how that looks.